I'm really looking forward to this coaching cycle. Uh, just having the opportunity for another person to come into my space and help me become better at my role, that's really exciting for me. I'm really excited to be working with Tim in this round of coaching. Even from our first initial meeting, I was blown away by how open and reflective he already was about his practice. We all have things that we probably can do better and that we would like to work on and this process is allowing me to identify those things and my current goal at the moment is I'm trying to improve my classroom management and culture and that's something that in the long run will have huge benefits for my students as I maximise their time in the classroom with me. So in this first part of the coaching cycle where we've identified a goal, um, it's really important that we have the opportunity to explore that and test is it going to be the most meaningful goal that he can work on right now? Is it going to have the most impact on his students? And how, as a coach, can I support him in exploring that goal? Is it finding opportunities for him to observe other teachers? Is it exploring and testing that goal further to make sure that it's really rock solid? And is it more visits to the classroom, more feedback, more video observation, and just letting him drive that um, so that he's in control of how we go about exploring that goal. What I noticed in the initial phase of the observation was the way I perceived myself wasn't necessarily the way things were in reality. And so having a look at myself and identifying areas that I thought I needed strength in, I found some of those areas were actually quite good. However, through the observation, I managed to identify things that I wasn't aware of. And I'm really excited about working on those areas with my coach going forward and improving my practice. So as a coach, it was really interesting to see how Tim's perspective changed after watching the video and seeing that what he thought was going to be the area of action was actually centred around a totally different area and being really ready to explore that area together. If I've been successful as a coach, at the end of the cycle, I've got a colleague who, just as their everyday practice, thinks about what they're doing in the classroom and why it's important. And if they're constantly in that frame of mind, then I think I've succeeded as a coach. Um, embedding that reflective practice every day and then seeking out colleagues to be able to have professional discussions about something you want to try or can I come and see something in your classroom, that's the kind of culture that we want to create. It's not, it's not simply did I achieve my goal, it's have I grown as a teacher and do I want to keep growing. The whole process was amazing. It was fun, it was enjoyable, it wasn't threatening, it had none of the preconceived negatives that I was concerned about. The biggest challenge Amelia and I faced during this entire journey was actually just working out in what direction I needed to head in. As teachers don't often have the opportunity to share their experiences with somebody live, we don't always know what we need to improve on or where there are areas that we can actually do better. Collaborative learning had a really big impact on the students and this was because students were actually feeling empowered by helping each other and they were also learning through the work of others how they could improve their own work. He had a goal that was focused around feedback. He wanted the students to understand the feedback and action the feedback in the classroom. After our first lesson observation, the goal shifted in focus, so the focus went from feedback to using more of a collaborative learning approach so the students could work together to understand feedback and have a deeper understanding of what that meant for them. In focusing on collaborative learning, the impact on the students was immense. Not only did our class practice become far more efficient, it also gave the students a real sense of empowerment when they were able to help each other, not just always getting their directions from me. So the goal for Tim was to use collaborative learning in his class to increase the engagement of the students within his class time. Yeah. 
Having Amelia as my coach was just brilliant. I had somebody who was supportive and caring, working with me to achieve my goals and providing such great feedback and direction when needed. It was such a wonderful experience and I'd highly encourage others to take the same journey. Through this collaborative learning, through organising groups where they felt safe to be able to share and learn with others, and through that, those students were going to be able to maximise their learning during class time. You can really see the shift in those students that he was targeting. They're engaged, they're talking about their learning, they're wanting to share with their friends, and they're feeling a real ownership of their learning within the classroom. When it comes to a colleague inviting you into their classroom and allowing you to be part of their teaching journey and putting themselves in a position where often people feel vulnerable. It's so important to have been able to establish a trust within that professional relationship. You want them to feel safe, you want them to feel able to be themselves so that you can work on teaching practice and pedagogy together if you haven't had time to establish that trust, then it is difficult sometimes for people to feel as though they can really share with you what their concerns are, what their goals and dreams are for that class. So establishing trust is so vital in the beginning to being able to see that pedagogical improvement. I hope through sharing my story, I can encourage other people to take the same journey because it's so rare that we get the opportunity to reflect on our own practice and to have an expert in the room with you who's not judging you, but they're coaching you, helping you. It's just made a huge difference to my teaching practice and the quality of what I'm doing for my students.